welcome to HRP. In today's video, I am going to explain about nested loop. In uh, sorry, welcome to HRP. In today's video, I am going to explain you about nested list in HTML. Nested li list means a list inside a list. Suppose I am creating a list where inside one item of the list there was another list list uh, for example the list of uh, your subject provided in your school inside science there are again three sub uh, three sub subjects like uh, biology physics chemistry inside social there are four uh, sections so how we can do that let's uh, let us create this first We'll write our required tag doc type HTML. Then uh, we will create the body section. We'll skip the head section here. Then suppose I am writing the subject provided in our school. So sub subjects offered in our school this one i am writing and this one if you want to write it like a header type little big one then you can write h1 and h1 close here so that it will be a little bigger than rest of the text now we'll have to create the list we can create order or unorder anything let's create an order list well then we'll go to next line and here we will create the list item li and here we'll write the subjects like english english and li close first item done now second item general maths li general maths then li close now third item we will make it general science now here inside general science we will create another list there will add the sub subjects like physics chemistry and biology so here we will make another list o l or u l anything you can do u l now remember this o l till now i have not closed inside this o l only i am creating another unordered list u l and we'll go to the next line and here the sub subjects like physics li then chemistry li close then biology then li close now this uh, subsection is done so we will close the ul now we'll go to write food subject that is li and here we will write suppose it's mil then li close and again here inside ml we have uh, we can have different subjects like assamese bengali hindi so we'll do that li we will write ul OL also can write OL and in next line we will write LI ASMIS then LI close again LI Hindi then LI will be closed again LI Bengali 
then ally close after that we will close the ol and we have till now not close the parent ol okay now we will add the fourth subject uh, fifth subject ally that is social science ally and here also we have four another sub subjects that one we can do ul or ol anything we can use it then ally <coughs> political science then ally clues again ally economics then ally clues then ally civics geography then ally clues so this way we can add the sub subjects then we will close the ul after that our last subject that is elective then ally close here and we will write the options for elective so ul here we'll write ally and the subject name advanced mathematics and computer science now my all the subjects are done so what we will do now we will close the parent ol which one i have not closed till now i will show you here which one ol this one ol till now i have not closed so that one i will close after writing all the subjects as i have finished writing all the subjects so here that ol will close now body will close and then html which is the root element of the page now we will save the page for saving we will give a name nested list dot html and save the type as all and save it after that we will go to the desktop and we will open the page for the output now you can see here subjects offered in our school english maths inside general science again four points then ml inside ml again four points social side inside three points elective inside two points so this way we can make different sections now what if we want to change the numbering of the list 1 2 3 4 instead of that i want roman numbers so uh, for that we can have to do this one at parent ol we will write type equal if i want capital roman numbering then capital i if i want small roman numbering then small i then save it go to the browser and open it so it's done now how you can change this title subject offered in our school to center position for that you will do this one h1 there you will write align equal center now this subjects offered that part will move to the center position of the page center spelling is c e n t e r so it's moved to the center now what if i want to change this style of the unordered list in the list 
suppose for physics chemistry and biology the style is a circle now instead of circle i want a square then how i can do that so i'll come to that ul one space here i will write type equal square then you will see the style of that particular list will change to a square shape now it is changed to a square shape so this way we can play with the list we can create a nested list which are very important when there is uh, some item inside one item for example suppose type of computer hardware and software again hardware inside uh, primary memory uh, monitor keyboard mouse software inside primary software secondary uh, sorry system software application software utility software etc so at that situation we can create nested list i hope you have understood thank you for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye